bring it back. Black women get pissed off at some interracial dating, boy. Black women get mad as a mother. Black women get angrier than southern white men. They get pissed the fuck off. Especially if they see like a, 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 a white girl with a famous black man. Ooh, they get fucking mad. They see like a white girl with Denzel Washington, they fucking start shaking, dude. They ready to punch that white girl in the face. What the fuck you doing with Denzel? Trying to take off good black men. We only got eight. That's right, black women get mad. They get mad at us, the black man. Get mad, cause we, they get mad at us cause we like to exercise our variety. That's right, that's right. Black men like to exercise their variety. When the black man is looking for a mate, we check out the whole menu of women. We're like, oh, you got any specials? <laughs> sisters get mad, sisters are getting in your face like, oh, you don't like your mother. They get all up in your grill. That's right. But they act like they mad at the black man, but no, they're not mad at us. They mad at themselves. That's right, yeah, I said it, I said it. Yeah, I'm looking right at y'all. I said it, you are mad at yourself. Cause I'm gonna tell you the real reason black women get so mad at interracial dating. Oh, I'm gonna break it the fuck down tonight. The real reason. Black women get so mad at interracial dating. It ain't all black women, but it's most black women. The real reason black women get so angry at interracial dating is because black women are not attracted to white men. <laughs> don't, don't, don't get me wrong, they'll fuck a pretty white boy. They'll fuck Matthew McConaughey or George Clooney, Brad Pitt. They'll give Beckham some pussy, yes. But black men, our standards ain't that high. We'll fuck any white girl. A matter of fact, the bigger the better. It's just more white to love. There's white women in this room right now don't even have scales in their house. They know they can't even wait when too many black guys start hitting on them. These black guys are all over me. I gotta work out. <laughs> That's right. Black men love a big white woman. She the black man will drop kick Kira Knightley to get to Rosie O'Donnell. Well, we'll tear that Rosie pussy up, boy. Shit, move that gut to the side, there's some good pussy under there. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. We'll fuck the whole view. Rosie, Barbara Waters, Joy Behar. Be the view from the back of that ass. Shit, we'll, we'll fuck Rachel Ray right after that shit. Fucking Rachel Ray with her plump ass and shit. I'll fuck her right in the arm fat, right here. Right in this motherfucker. Right in this motherfucker. Now, whose arm is this? Just need a crease. That's all a nigga needs is a crease. Just a crease, nigga, that's a crease. I'll fuck her in the arm fat and have her make me some biscuits when that shit's over. That's right, man, that's right. And that's what makes black women so mad. Cause they know Rosie O'Donnell could walk into any black club in Harlem tonight and get her a black man. She don't even like men. But she can get her a black man. <laughs> and it don't work the other way around. There ain't a bunch of black women out there trying to fuck George from Seinfeld. <laughs> that's right, if you see a black woman with an overweight white man, that means her credit is fucked up. <laughs> like she's in financial straits. 
girl, what you doing with him? They was gonna take my car. <laughs> Shit. That's right. Whenever the word nigga is spoken, it is always followed by the same question. Can white people say nigga? And the correct answer is not really. You have to check with your nigga consulate, talk to your nigga representative, and they will tell you the nigga rules where you are at that particular time. That's right, man, because we, we live in a crazy time where Dr. King and Mr. Mandela's dreams are coming true, and black people and white people and Asians and Indians, and everybody's hanging out together. They have interracial posses. It's unbelievable what's going on, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Un all my black friends have a bunch of white friends. And all my white friends have one black friend. <laughs> yeah, man. But if you have an interracial posse, if you are in an interracial posse, you have to figure out, you know, what are the rules of the interracial posse? What are the Dr. Dre rules of your crew? That's right, because, you know, what are the Dr. Dre rules? What are the rules when a Dr. Dre song comes on the radio or plays at a club? What is the procedure that goes into effect? Because sometimes I'm with my white friends and the Dr. Dre song will come on. And there's a lot of niggas in the Dr. Dre song. And they want to enjoy it, but they can't really enjoy it around me. So they start taking out the niggas, or mumbling the niggas, and it's just a sad sight to see. It's just sad to see some white person trying to do a niggerless rendition of a Dr. Dre song. It's just fucking depressing. <laughs> and they're trying to rap along without saying nigga, and they're like creeping down the back street on knees. I got some a Glock cop, cause I don't know what the fuck to say. Tat like that, and I never hesitate to put a. <laughs> but I know when I'm not there, shit, they lean into that shit. <laughs> He's not here. Turn it up. <laughs> They're like down a back street on knees. I got some Glock cock, cause nigga. <laughs> To tap like that, and I never hesitate to put a nigga on his back and kill him. I hate niggas. Say, hey man, that's not even in the song. I got a little carried away. Sorry about that. They should put it in. They really should. <laughs> Don't worry, white people. Get your Dre on. Get your Dre on, get your J on, get your Kanye on. It's all right. It's all good. It's okay. It's got to it's be in the song, though. It's got to be in the song. It's got to be in the song. So the question remains the same. Can white people say, nigga? And the answer is the same. Not really. Oh, there, there's some exceptions like, fuck me harder, nigga. A lot of white women trying not to laugh in front of their husbands right now. <laughs> I was on safari with my family out there taking pictures of the animals, and you're driving around, and you got this guy which you called a tracker. The tracker is amazing because you're just driving around, and the tracker goes stop, 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 and you you stop the jeep, and he leans down and puts his finger in some piss. He's like, Ah, uh, 15 miles to the right should be zebra. And, and, and you get there, and then zebra! Then zebra! Wow! Zebra! And you're driving some more, and he's like, stop, 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 stop. And he leans down and picks, picks up a little shit pellet, and... Mm, uh, mm, 13 miles to the left. Rhinoceros. And you get there and there's a rhino right there. You're like, how the fuck they do this shit? And it's beautiful. I'm not there taking pictures of the rhino and I took the pictures of the zebra and I was having a good time and I'm out there with my family and I felt great 
till I looked over at another Jeep and I saw a bunch of white people taking pictures of me. Ah, shit, I'm like, hey, I know animal. But they had a tracker tracking my black ass. Evidently, I must have dropped some chicken or something at another spot. And they're like, ah, chicken bowl. 13 miles to the left, niggas will be there. And they, they, tried to, they tried to, McCain just got that old story. This motherfucker been telling the same story for 40 fucking years. He a war hero. He a war hero. He a war hero that got captured. <laughs> There's a lot of guys in jail that got captured. <laughs> Shit. Look, man, I don't want to vote for nobody that got captured. I want to vote for the motherfucker that got away. That's what we love flavor. Love them for 20 years. I love the Flavor of Love show. I think it's quite entertaining. But Flavor Flav must be killed. <laughs> In order for black people to truly reach the promised land, Flavor Flav has to be shot. These are important times. We got a black man running for president. We don't need a nigga running around with a fucking clock around his neck and a Viking hat on his head. <laughs> and you win. Ooh, black women get mad when I say that shit. Boy. Oh, you need a white girl. You think you need a white girl. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> think you need a white girl. Soon as y'all get a little money, you want a white girl. Soon as you get a little money, you want a white girl. Actually, before we get money. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins this election right now? Don't matter. Barack or, or McCain, it don't matter right now because Bush is still in charge. George Bush is still in charge. And nobody gives less of a fuck than George Bush. You think you don't give a fuck, Bush don't give a fuck. Nobody gives less of a fuck than George Bush. If you was hanging from a cliff, get ready to fall to your death. That's right, and Bush was at the top of the cliff. And all you needed was a fuck to save your life. And Bush had a pocket full of fucks. He wouldn't give you one. Uh, hey, Bush, I need a fuck. Oh, you know I don't give a fuck. It's the first time in the history of the world where white men have to watch their tongue. And you know, white guys, don't, don't, don't worry about it. You know, that's how life works, man. That's how life works. Sometimes the people with the most shit have to shut up and let other people talk shit about them. That's how life works. That's right. Sometimes the people with the most shit get to say the least shit. And the people with the least shit get to say the most shit. So if you want to say most shit, get rid of some of your shit. That's how the world works, man. Because I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen in this crazy George Bush deregulated world we live in. Here's what's gonna happen. The phone company is going to buy the ringtone company. And then they're gonna start selling us phones that don't fucking ring. <laughs> they gonna make you buy a ringtone or else you are gonna have to guess when your phone is ringing. <laughs> Say hello, hello. Hello, hello, I pick it up every four minutes just in case. Hello, hello. Damn, I need to buy sex and back. But you gotta get your money right. You got to get your money right. Men, you must get your money right. Men, you hear me? You have to get your money right. It's important for men to get their money right. Women, it's important for you to get your money right, but it's not as important for you as it is for us. Why, women? Because no one will ever not fuck you because you're broke. <laughs> Your pussy will never be turned down for financial reasons. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. That's right, pussies like Visa, accepted everywhere. Hard being a man today. Why is it so hard to be a man? Because nobody cares about men. Nobody gives a fuck about men. 
If you see a homeless man on the street with a dog, you feel sorry for the dog. <laughs> so we got to get that dog some food. <laughs> what about the man? Oh, fuck. So every night on TV, I see there's a new missing woman. We got to find Carol. Where's Carol? We must find Carol. Carol didn't come home last night. Where the fuck is Carol? I never see one of these things for a missing man yet. It's like Bob didn't come home last night. Good. I hope he never comes home. Probably out fucking Carol somewhere. Desperate housewives. Bunch of women living in nice houses. Some of them don't even work. They all cheat on their husband. They need to change the name of that show from Desperate Housewives to Ungrateful Bitches. <laughs>
Scrape, 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 scrape. Okay, I was passed. Maybe I should look. It feel good. Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna wait a whole nother hour. Scrape, 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 Time to look and feel good about myself. And you look, fuck, 15 minutes. <laughs> you ever been so miserable at work that you spend extra time just sitting on the toilet? You don't even have your pants down. You're just like, I hate this fucking job. I hate it. People around you taking smelly shits. They don't even phase you. You're like, I don't give a fuck. You keep shitting, because I ain't quitting. <laughs> Man, you know how you can tell you got a real bad job? When they give you that half hour lunch break. Woo, there's nothing worse than a half hour lunch break to a grown person. Why don't you just get a little spoon and give me some applesauce while you're at it? The fuck a half hour lunch break. By the time you put on your jacket, walk around the corner, go to the sandwich spot, order a sandwich, wait for them to make it, then get on another line to pay for it, 28 minutes have passed. Now you rushing back to work, you're eating your sandwich, you're spilling beer down your shirt, and when you get in, your boss got the nerve to go, hey man, you're eight minutes late. Fuck you! You realize even criminals in jail get an hour lunch break? Like, can I at least eat like a murderer? I bet if I shot your ass, I could finish this sandwich. You gotta work. You gotta work. We all gotta work. We all gotta work. Why? We spend money on things we used to get for free. We spend money on things we used to get for free. Like, water. That's right, you can still get free water, but nobody does it. That's right, we spend money on water, buying bottled fucking water. Do you know how many people on earth right now are dying of thirst? How many people walk 10 and 20 miles to get some fresh water? And we so fucking spoil, we buy bottled water. You know what it means when you buy bottled water? That means you only use tap water on your ass. And you wonder why people want to blow us the fuck up. We got ass water, that's why. They died of thirst, but like, I gotta wash my ass. I gotta wash it. Fuck, <laughs> man. You know why they call it tap water? Because you just tap it on your nuts, that's why. Yeah, man. Bottle water, man. You know the craziest thing we spend money on? The craziest thing? We all done it. You done it, I've done it, we all done it. The craziest thing we spend money on? Ringtones. The phone used to ring for free. But bring bring just wasn't good enough for some of y'all. So I need a ring that expresses who I am. I need to hear sexy back when my phone rings. And now they got us. Now they got us. We're gonna have ringtones for the rest of our lives. People know we're not. Oh yes we are. Cause I'll tell you exactly what's gonna happen in this crazy George Bush deregulated world we live in. Here's what's going to happen. The phone company is going to buy the ringtone company. And then they're going to start selling us phones that don't fucking ring. They're going to make you buy a ringtone or else you're going to have to guess when your phone is ringing. But hello, hello. Hello, hello, I'm picking up every four minutes just in case. Hello, hello. Damn, I need to buy a sexy bag. But you gotta get your money right. You got to get So many fucking <laughs> dip 
differences between men and women, man. So many fucking differences. The biggest difference between men and women, one of the biggest differences, man, and the biggest difference, men and women, men cannot go backwards sexually. Women cannot go backwards in lifestyle. Can't fucking do it. Women cannot go backwards in lifestyle. They can't do it. That's right. They, they can't do it. I don't care. The best woman can't fucking do it. Can't fucking do it. You can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Fellas, you ever been going through some hard times with your woman? You lose your job or something, and your woman tries to console you and say, hey, baby, don't worry. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I know we got some bills, but if we got to get rid of some of this shit, we will get rid of some of this shit. She's talking about you. Can't do it. Fellas, if you lose your job, you gonna lose your woman. That's right, she may not leave the day you lose it, but the countdown has begun. <laughs> women can't do it, ladies. Remember the first time you ever dated a guy with his own car? Remember that shit? You was leaving the club, your girlfriend's got on the bus, you're like, bye bitches. I'll see y'all later. I'm getting in this warm ass car. And from that moment on, you're like, I hey, you better have a car. You ain't getting this pussy without a fucking car. I am not getting on a fucking bus in February. Fuck that shit. And that's how the fuck you roll for the rest of your life. Ladies, remember the first time you ever dated a guy with his own apartment? Remember that? You got in there, you were comfortable. You're like, I could really enjoy getting fucked in here. I could scream and holler and break shit, yell instructions. I will never fucking nobody's mama's house again. And you never did. You never fucking did. Ladies, remember the first time you ever had a man take you on vacation? Say, whoa, this is great. And from that moment on, every man you dated had to take you somewhere. You let them know as soon as you met them, like, hey, this is passport pussy. If you think you can handle this pussy in one time zone, you are out of your fucking mind. The women love to tell you how much better the pussy gonna get when you get to the destination. Oh, you ain't got nothing yet. Wait till we get to Jamaica. You get to Jamaica, it's the same pussy you had in Johannesburg, in London, in Brooklyn. Only difference is now it's got a little bit of sand in it. <laughs> and the crazy thing, the crazy thing, women love to tell you, women got their own money now. Women have their own fucking money now. And women are like, hey. Women are like, hey, if you don't take me on a nice vacation, I'm going to find me a cute guy and I'm going to pay for shit. But that only lasts for like 30 days. Because women don't like paying for shit. That's right, pussy costs money, dick is free. Any money you spend on dick is a bad investment. <laughs> Cause when it comes to women and money, I tell you right now, nothing dries up a pussy quicker than a woman reaching for her wallet. There's something about a woman reaching for her wallet that just dries up the vagina. It's almost like the wallet is sending a signal to the pussy that this man is not worthy of getting wet for. And even later on when you go to the gynecologist, he's like, oh my God, you've been paying for shit. Another $500, you're going to be in menopause. Women cannot go backwards in lifestyle. Men cannot go backwards sexually. Can't do it. Once we get the sex we like, that's how the fuck we roll. We get stubborn in our old age. We're like, I like my, I like my coffee like this, I like my steak like this, and I like the fuck like this. And if you ain't fucking like I'm fucking, then get the fuck out. Ladies, ladies, don't get mad at us. Don't get mad at us. Get mad at our ex-girlfriend. She's the one that spoiled it for everybody. They had the ex-girlfriend that did everything. She fucked it up for everybody. Call up one day, like, what? You did what? 
You licked his ass? Now he wants everybody to lick his ass. Thanks a lot, bitch. That's right. Ladies, your man is nastier than you ever imagined. Your man has been watching porno since he was 12 years old. He has pornographic images in his head and he wants to relive some of this shit before he drops dead. That's right, ladies. Get up on it. Get up on it. Listen to what the fuck I'm about to say, okay? Just because he came don't mean you made him come. Did you hear what the fuck I just said? Just because he came does not mean you made him come. Every man in this room got two levels of come. Every man in here got two levels of come. And level one comes out easy. Comes out like ketchup. Dip, 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 dip. This ain't coming, it comes out. Dip, 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 dip. But level two? If we got a woman doing the precise nasty shit we like, wearing the nasty shit we wanted to wear, saying the nasty shit we wanted to say, it will shoot out like a civil rights hole. Free at last, free at last. It'll take a fucking eye out. That's right. That's right, ladies. That's right. That's why you got to be very careful about what you introduce in bed. Ain't no such thing as one time when it comes to sex. Because if we like it, it's on the menu. That's right. You got to be very careful. You can't be like, ooh, I'm going to wear high heels tomorrow. No, you're going to wear high heels every day. If I ever see the bottom of your feet again, this relationship is over. But ooh, I'm going to do a girl for your birthday. No, you're going to do a girl every day. You better get some bunk beds in this motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, now I remember the first time I ever had a girl suck to come out of my dick and swallow. Oh! That felt so good, I could read Arabic. I was breaking down the Da Vinci Code. And right then I said, spinners or quitters? Spinners or quitters? Yeah, a lot of women in here grossed out right now. Ooh, come in the mouth. That's fucking disgusting. Fucking come in the mouth. You always want to come in my fucking mouth. Get the fuck out of here. You better call that ass looking girl. You are not coming in my mouth. Fuck that. Yeah, half the women in here are grossed out. And the other half are in loving relationships. Hey, I'm out of here. Y'all take care. racial humor, do a lot of racial humor. You know why? I was bused to school when I was a kid. Very hard being bused, man. Had to get up every morning at six o'clock in the morning to go to school and compete with white kids that didn't have to wake up until eight. <laughs> man, that's not fair. You know, say so I get a lower mark on the test, I got a teacher going, oh, Chris can't read. I'm like, no, Chris is fucking tired, right? <laughs> People talk about being bus to school. I got bus to school. Like you're supposed to get bus to school to go to a better neighborhood and get a better education and all that shit. I got bus to school into a poor white neighborhood. <laughs> a neighborhood worse than the one I lived in. And everybody's scared of black people. Everybody's scared of Puerto Ricans. Yo, ain't nothing scarier than poor white people. <laughs> Even white people are scared of poor white people. Hey, keep those white people away from us. Yo, these mother, they live under the trailer home, all right? They weren't white trash, they are like white toxic waste. <laughs> a bunch of shaggy from Scooby-Doo looking people. That's who I went to school with. And they hated my guts. They hated me. They, Cause my family had more money than them. We, we didn't even have money, but we had more money than them. And right then I learned my lesson, boy. Nothing that a white guy with a pity hates more than a nigga with a nickel. <laughs> A lot of women here. That's good. I like women. 
My mother's a woman, that helps. <laughs> women, gotta, women control the whole thing, man. Women, women control, they're so fucking cool. Women have male friends, women have male friends, platonic friends. What the fuck is that shit about? That's like the biggest scam in the world. No man ever looked at a woman and said, damn, she fine, damn, she is so fine. She's so fine, I want to make her my friend. Never. Women are like, they will have platonic, they will have 10 platonic friends. And nothing, can a guy have some women friends? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Women are cool. This is how cool women are. A woman can walk in a party with her man. There'll be four guys in a party that she fucked and it will not phase her one bit. She will introduce her man to every one of those guys like there is nothing to it. <laughs> I want you to be Brad, and this is Kevin, and this is Mark, and this is Michael. They're all my friends. A man, if you're walking out of street with your woman, and you see a bitch you fucked in 1972, you will cross the street. Women are. Women are fly, boy. <laughs> women got it good, man. Women, women, so good. women always have two men in their lives, too. Always two. It's like the guy they're fucking and the guy they should be fucking. A lot of guys aren't laughing because they don't know which one they are right now. It's like, who am I? And women, who are you fucking? Your man. That's right, your man. You and your man used to have a real relationship. Now you do is fuck. You and your man used to talk on the phone for hours. Couldn't get off the phone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I miss you too. I miss you much. How much? Too much. That much. Way too much. Ooh, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Uh-huh. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you on a star. I miss you. Oh, I miss you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It getting late, it getting late. Okay, okay, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Okay, 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 okay. Good night. <laughs> Won't you hang up? Older women. I'm, I'm into older women. They're not, you know, you know, not Wheezy Jefferson old. <laughs> Just older than me. Cause young girls are full of shit. <laughs> they like what they like. So I want them to be this tall. I want his hair to be like this. I want his eyes to be like this. I want to walk like this, talk like this, work here, all this bullshit that got nothing to do with here and here. Now you get an older woman, you get an older woman single, she's like, hey, I just want a man. He got a dick and a job, I'm happy. shit. Older women know the power of the pot. They will make you something. Young girl can't make nothing but reservations. Oh, 
the women know the power of the pot. So they got all these shows on TV, Oprah and Sally Jesse and all this shit telling women how to get a man and all these books, how to get a man. Yo, women, you want to get a man? This is what you do. You put a pot on a stove. Every day at 6 o'clock, a man will show up to that pot. <laughs> A pot on a stove every day, not once a week, not twice a week, every fucking day at six o'clock. A man, men from miles around that you have never met will show up to that pot. But they got all this shit how to get a man. You dress like this and do your hair like this and walk like this and talk like this and sex this and sex that. Anybody can suck a dick. <laughs> But gravy's a whole nother story. <laughs> so I would take a sweet potato pie over a big ass any day. I will drop kick a girl for some banana pudding. Ice cold banana pudding been sitting in the refrigerator all night. Get your ass <laughs> I gotta wash it. Look, <laughs> man. You know why they call it tap water? Because you just tap it on your nuts, that's why. Yeah, man. Bottle water, man. You know the craziest thing we spend money on? The craziest thing, we all done it. You done it, I done it, we all done it. The craziest thing we spend money on, ringtones. The phone used to ring for free. But bring, bring just wasn't good enough for some of y'all. So I need a ring that expresses who I am. I need to hear sexy back when my phone rings. And now they got us, now they got us. We're gonna have ringtones for the rest of our lives. People know we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Because I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen in this crazy George Bush deregulated world we live in. Here's what's going to happen. The phone company is going to buy the ringtone company. And then they're going to start selling us phones that don't fucking ring. <laughs> they're going to make you buy a ringtone or else you're going to have to guess when your phone is ringing. Say, hello, 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 I pick it up every four minutes just in case. <laughs> hello, hello, damn, I need to buy a sex and back. But you gotta get your money right, you got to get your money right. Men, you must get your money right. Men, you hear me? You have to get your money right. It's important for men to get their money right. Women, it's important for you to get your money right, but it's not as important for you as it is for us. Why, women? Because no one will ever not fuck you because you're broke. <laughs> Your pussy will never be turned down for financial reasons. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. That's right, pussies like Visa, accepted everywhere. <laughs> That's right, next time you don't got no cash, go, do you take pussy? Of course we take pussy. <laughs> Who doesn't take pussy? How much pussy you got? Shit. <laughs> Brother, I love being a man, but I just wish I had a pussy. I really do. I wish I had a pussy just for negotiation purposes. Just so when I'm negotiating a deal, I can put that motherfucker on the table like, okay, what about now? It's a deal. <laughs> yeah, man. Women, man. Hard being a man today. Hard being a man today. Why is it so hard to be a man? Because nobody cares about men. Nobody gives a fuck about men. You see a homeless man on the street with a dog, you feel sorry for the dog. <laughs> so we got to get that dog some food. <laughs> what about the man? Oh, fuck him. So every night on TV, I see there's a new missing woman. We gotta find Carol. 
Where's Carol? We must find Carol. Carol didn't come home last night. Where the fuck is Carol? I never see one of these things for a missing man yet. It's like Bob didn't come home last night. Good. I hope he never comes home. Probably out fucking Carol somewhere. That's right, hard being a man today. Why is it so hard being a man? Because you got to deal with today's woman. You got to deal with today's woman. Today's woman's a hard one to deal with, boy. What's the show all the women watch today? Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. Bunch of women living in nice houses. Some of them don't even work. They all cheat on their husband. They need to change the name of that show from Desperate Housewives to Ungrateful Bitches. <laughs> Every week they fuck the pool boy or the gardener, and he can fuck real good too. You know why? Because he don't have a full-time job, that's why. Shit, I could fuck that good too if I had an extra eight hours to work on my stroke. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even that good in bed. I don't give a fuck. My bills are paid. You better let this security make your titties tingle. Shit. I have never knocked out the pussy in my life. I've never knocked out the pussy in my life. I've won by decision. <laughs> That's right. Two out of every five times I fuck you, it's good. Two out of five. Them other three are horrible. But just when you're ready to pack your shit, I give you a good one. <laughs> now, where'd that come from, Viagra? That's right, man. What do women want? What the fuck do women want? Everything. 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 All around the world is the same answer. Everything. 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 That's right, man. Only women can get away with that answer, everything. Nobody else is allowed to say everything. When a man wants something, he goes, damn, I want that. I want it bad. I got to figure out what I got to do to get that. When a woman wants something, she goes, damn, I want that. I want it bad. I got to figure out who I can get to get me that. <laughs> Big differences, man. Women want a lot, man. Women want you to get on one knee and go, I love you more than anything else in the world. I think you're the most beautiful, intelligent creature on earth, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But we ain't saying that. We're not saying that unless we really fucked up bad. We're going to keep that one in our back pocket. Not going to just break it out on a Tuesday. Ladies, if you ever hear a man talking that shit, he might have fucked your sister. Okay? Ladies, you know what the most romantic words a man can say to you? The most romantic words a man will ever say to you are these words. I ain't going nowhere. It don't get no more romantic than, I ain't going nowhere. You know why? Because when a man says, I ain't going nowhere, what he's trying to tell you is, I've actually thought about going somewhere. I talked to a lawyer, I looked at a place, and I realized I'm going to go through this same shit with the next girl, so no, why not just stay here and be miserable with you? I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you in there? So much difference between men and women, man. One of the biggest differences between men and women, men are actually happy when women go out with their girlfriends and have a good time. When you go out with your girlfriends and have a good time, we're fucking happy for you. You come up and go, me and my girlfriends are going to go see sex in the city. We're like, great. <laughs> now I don't have to take you to see that shit. <laughs> Why don't you go see Mamma Mia while you're at it? <laughs> and you go and see it, you come back and like, oh, Sex in the City was so good. You should have saw the wedding and Carrie got married to Big. I can't believe it. <laughs> and we're fucking happy for you. We're happy for you. But it don't work the other way around. Women never want us to have a good time. Ever, 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 ever. 
whatever. Fellas, if your woman come home from work and you got a smile on your face that she didn't put there, she gets suspicious. What the fuck you smiling about? I ain't fucking three weeks. What the fuck you smiling about? That's right. That's right, fellas. When you go out with your boys and your woman says, how was it? Just go, it was all right. Because if you're going to be on all right, you're going to be in a fight. You can't be like, oh, baby, it was unbelievable. I had the best time of my life. There's white women in this room right now don't even have scales in their house. They know they gain in weight when too many black guys start hitting on them. It's like these black guys are all over me. I gotta work out. <laughs> That's right. Black men love a big white woman. Should a black man will drop kick Kira Knightley to get to Rosie O'Donnell. Well, we'll tear that rosy pussy up, boy. Shit, move that gut to the side. There's some good pussy under there. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. We'll fuck the whole view. Rosie, Barbara Waters, Joy Behar. Be the view from the back of that ass. Shit, we'll, we'll fuck Rachel Ray right after that shit. Fucking Rachel Ray with her plump ass and shit. I'll fuck her right in the arm fat, right in here. Right in this motherfucker. Right in this motherfucker. Now, whose arm is this? Just need a crease. That's all a nigga needs is a crease. Just a crease, nigga. That's a crease. I'll fuck her in the arm fat and have her make me some biscuits when that shit's over. That's right, man. That's right. And that's what makes black women so mad. Because they know Rosie O'Donnell could walk into any black club in Harlem tonight and get her a black man. She don't even like men. But she can get her a black man. <laughs> and it don't work the other way around. There ain't a bunch of black women out there trying to fuck George from Seinfeld. That's right, you see a black woman with an overweight white man, that means her credit is fucked up. <laughs> like she's in financial straits. Girl, what you doing with him? They was gonna take my car. Yes, 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 man. Yes, 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 man. I don't know, man. This whole, this whole, let's, let's go back to election for a second, man. It don't matter who wins this election right now. Don't matter. Barack or, or McCain. It don't matter right now because Bush is still in charge. George Bush is still in charge. And nobody gives less of a fuck than George Bush. You think you don't give a fuck. Bush don't give a fuck. Nobody gives less of a fuck than George Bush. If you was hanging from a cliff, get ready to fall to your death. That's right, and Bush was at the top of the cliff. And all you needed was a fuck to save your life. And Bush had a pocket full of fucks. He wouldn't give you one. Hey Bush, I need a fuck. Oh, you know I don't give a fuck. Here's a fuck, sight. Bush is unbelievable, man. This guy's unbefucking leavable. Just the things that have gone down since he's been the president is, is unprecedented how bad this guy is, okay? He ain't the worst president of the United States. He's the worst president of president. He's the worst PTA president, president of Black Association, president of Major League Baseball, Worldwide Wrestling Federation, the worst president ever. This motherfucker, this the shit that has gone down since he's been president is unbelievable, man. Unbefucking evil. That mortgage crisis going on right now, people losing their houses. One month your mortgage is nine.